All right, I wanted to do a video about uh, hands-on exercise uh, one, two, and three in chapter two of Excel. Just real quickly, this isn't exactly it, but I wanted to give some uh, little help here. So I downloaded this um, spreadsheet from the course webpage. And just real quickly, I want you to see it once and then you can go ahead and do the hands-on exercise a lot easier. Anyways, the amount of finance would be um, the cost of the house minus the down payment because you made this down payment so you only need to borrow or whoever only needs to borrow three hundred twenty thousand dollars from, from the bank only three hundred twenty that's quite a bit of money and then of course um, I want to copy down and again one of the rules from copying if you saw the notes is uh, consider the dollar sign and the dollar sign holds um, the cells from changing when copying and I don't want them and remember with the dollar sign you can't guess you have to either know if you want it or not okay rate per period what this is going to be is this is going to be the mortgage rate well, let me get in here the mortgage rate divided by the number of payments per year okay we're going to use that value to do a monthly payment. I'm going to add a monthly payment column over here in just a minute. So the rate per period. Now here I'm going to talk about the dollar sign again. So here I do need the dollar sign, but I want to show what happens if you don't use the dollar sign. I'm going to copy it down. Remember I grabbed the little fill handle and see how we get these weird things. So to see where you're looking, you click up into the formula and notice how that I'm drifting off of that 12. Here I look at the next one. See how I'm drifting down? When I copied it, geez, all the way down here, I'm looking at 350,000. So to avoid that, what you do is you put a dollar sign right in front of that five. And it doesn't really change anything, but notice the dollar sign right here. But now when I copy down, now you'll notice that I'm always looking at B5. The the E12 or whatever, E10, E9 changes, but the B5 stays still. I'm always looking at that 12. So keep that in mind when making a formula if you're referencing something up here. All right, number of payment periods. Again, that's very simple. Um, we have 25 years, and we multiply that by the number of uh, payments per year, which again is up here. So again, I need, because I'm looking outside of the, the row, well, it's not really the reason, but because I'm looking up here at something um, solid, I need a dollar sign between the B and the 4. And I'm hitting, I'm double hitting B4 if you're wondering what I'm doing, or F4, sorry. F4 on the keyboard cycles through all the possible combinations of absolute reference or um, partial reference for the dollar sign. So I'm going to copy this down. And then this was already done for you, surprisingly. Now here, why don't I put a payment? Here. And let me stretch that out a little bit. So the monthly payment, now remember, if ever asked to do payment, use the PMT formula. Payment. Then... So I typed in, I knew the form, I typed it in, and this little f of x is going to bring up the dialog box for whatever function you have typed in there. So the first thing I want is the rate, the interest rate per period, which we figured out right here. Now again, typically when writing functions, we work in the top row and then we copy down. So I'm going to work on this first loan uh, formula and then I'm going to copy it down. Okay, the number of payments total, so for 25 years at 12 months per year, I'm going to make 300 payments. And PV, the present value, that is going to be how much you need to borrow. And I need to borrow this, not 400, but I need to borrow that 320. And present value should just have a minus sign in front of because you're in debt $320,000. And you get that monthly payment. Now, so do I need dollar signs? Well, I'm going to click up here. 
it not always but 99 percent of the time if you're looking outside of the row then you need dollar signs if you're not looking outside of the row then you don't and in this case i am not looking outside of the row actually usually the payment you do but in this case you don't until you copy it down now summary statistics Of course, it's a function. Sum is how we sum. So I'm going to sum. Um, I didn't mean to do that. So I'm clicking and dragging, and I'm creating that range in there. Um, and then I'm going to do, again, I'm going to do sum here. And this is the sum of the down payments. I don't know why anyone would want that, but that's where it is. And this is going to be the sum of the um, amount financed. Okay. Of course, the average function is going to be average. Did I spell that right? A V E R A G E. So average that. Okay. Now, notice that house cost, down payment, and amount financed are right next to each other. I can actually take this and copy it over. And notice how it's going to know that I want a down payment there. And it's going to know here that I was looking at amount of finance. Not that it really knows that, but just because these are next to each other and I was dragging over to the right, it took a best guess and knew that I wanted to look at those different ranges. Okay, median, of course, is the median function. Copy that over. Lowest is min. I want the min for all those. Highest is max. And again, I'm just selecting. Drag over. And the number of mortgages, I'm going to use the count function. The count function counts the number of cells that contain a number in a given range. So I'm going to count the number of house uh, costs, I guess you could say. And that gives me a five, and then this should all be fives. Okay, so again, count counts the number of things in a range, and this is useful when you have like thousands of records in Excel and you want to count the number of cells that contain something because sometimes people leave cells blank and there's thousands of records so you can't really tell so I'm gonna stop here oh and this should be the today function the today function grabs the date from the um, computer